This is a Raspberry Pi single board computer about the size of a credit card. And this is a hydroelectric turbine. And this is a stream in the middle of nowhere. By introducing the revolutionary new concept of crypto mining, we're now gonna prove that you can use natural energy sources such as this stream to earn a profit. We're also gonna show you exactly how much we earn with our small scale Raspberry Pi rig. And finally, we're gonna cover why this just might be a world changing idea right up there with electricity, the printing press, and the double stuffed Oreo. But before we get into it, in line with the theme of free money, I'm going to be periodically giving away Raspberry Pis to a subscriber for as long as this video is live. To enter into the random lottery, you just need to comment a special keyword phrase, which I will reveal at some point in this video. Anyways, let's get started. Real quick, I'm gonna outline technically exactly how this is gonna go down. Step one, we're gonna find a small stream with running water and sufficient flow. Step two, we're gonna set up our water lily to act as our generator and power source. Step three, we're gonna connect our Raspberry Pi to our power source. Step four, we're gonna connect our Raspberry Pi to the internet and run crypto mining software. For the uninitiated, crypto mining is really just the process of using your private computer to validate transactions on the blockchain. No, no, not this blockchain, this blockchain. And in return for helping validate these transactions, the protocol will pay us a commensurate fee for loaning out our compute to the network. The first thing we need to do is generate energy to power our rig. And for that, I'm gonna use something called a water lily. This is a low profile portable device that acts as a hydroelectric turbine. It can be dropped into any moving body of water to generate up to 15 volts of power. And this will be enough to power our Raspberry Pi. Real quick, if you are bullish about Bitcoin, then make sure to hit that like button so that YouTube pushes this out to a wider audience and evangelizes the good word of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Okay, so here we're just situating the water lily within the stream so that it's getting ample flow and generating power. Okay, so we have the line secured by a rock and you can see that water is flowing in nicely. Okay, so now we're gonna hook up a power meter to our water lily to see what kind of power we're generating. All right, so it looks like we are hovering around five volts. So we're gonna see if this is sufficient to power our Raspberry Pi. So we can see the Raspberry Pi is actually turning on and it's being powered naturally by the screen. So we have power and now we have compute. Before taking our Raspberry Pi out to the stream, we need to complete two steps at home. First, we need to create an account on Minergate and second, we need to configure our Raspberry Pi. So one of the things that we're gonna to wanna to do is set up an account with Minergate, which is the pooling service that I'm gonna be using. Pooling is just a way for people to loan out their compute together, and as rewards get paid out by the blockchain, it will be dispersed according to how much compute you loaned out to the network. So I just came over to Minergate.com. Gonna go ahead and click sign up. We are gonna use our email address as our user ID when we run the mining script. So just take note of what email you use. Okay, so on the left here is the Minergate dashboard and you will see the different cryptocurrencies that are supported listed here. And actually what I did to kind of show you what this looks like when you're actively mining is on the right here, I set up a uh, miner thread on the Raspberry Pi. So we're actually uh, actively mining the coin Monero. So if I scroll down to Monero here, you can see that it is green and our status is online. And it shows you different statistics um, and diagnostics such as your hash rate, uh, the number of shares that you've been able to provide, and the percentage or the number of Monero tokens that you've actually mined. And as you can see here, our hash rate is low and we have a long way to go before we mine our first Monero coin. 
but because of pooling, we can take the small fraction that we have mined and cash out at any time. Okay, there are two steps that we want to complete before we bring our Raspberry Pi out to the stream. One is that we want to download the crypto mining currency package to the Raspberry Pi. And then two is we just need to make sure that our Raspberry Pi will automatically connect to our mobile Wi-Fi hotspot. So one of the issues I had using the mobile hotspot as a network was I could not connect to the Raspberry Pi over SSH using the host name. So I had to download a tool to my iPhone called iNet, which is an IP address scanner. And when you have the two devices connected to the phone uh, using the hotspot, you run the scanner and then it will show you the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. And then when you wanna connect over SSH, you use the Raspberry Pi IP address instead of the host name, and that seemed to work for me. So for those who aren't familiar, SSH stands for Secure Shell, and that's just how you connect to a server or another computer remotely. So I'm just gonna configure my Raspberry Pi so that it automatically connects to my phone's mobile hotspot. So when I power it on when we're out in nature, it should start looking for my mobile hotspot. All right, so I'm just selecting my mobile hotspot. And I'm going to make sure the password is there. And I'm just going to connect. All right, looks like it's connected to my hotspot. So I'll just make sure that that setting saved so that it automatically connects to my hotspot when it's available. So this is an open source package here that we're going to download to the Raspberry Pi. And this lets you perform multi-threaded crypto mining. OK, so now we're just going to clone the GitHub repository. Okay, so the way this is gonna work is, I'm going to use my iPhone to set up a mobile hotspot. And then when we're out by the stream, the Raspberry Pi is gonna connect to the hotspot and my laptop is gonna connect to the hotspot. So they'll be on a network together and they will all have internet access. And to connect to the Raspberry Pi, I'm gonna use SSH from my laptop. And once I'm logged into my Raspberry Pi, connected over SSH, I'll be able to run the crypto mining script. And then once the script is running, the Raspberry Pi will be connected to our miner gate pool, and it'll also begin validating transactions on the blockchain, and we will get paid for that work. Okay, so now that we outlined all the preliminary configurations needed, let's cut back over to how we tied this all together when we monetize the stream. But the next step is I'm going to use my computer to program my Raspberry Pi and we're going to run the crypto mining software. So now that I've SSH'd into the Raspberry Pi, all I have to do is execute the command to start the crypto mining. So the command is going to run CPU miner, which is going to connect to MinerGate, and we're going to be actively mining cryptocurrency. So now that I've executed the CPU miner script, we are actively mining cryptocurrency using clean energy. Now, I recognize this was just a fun little proof of concept, but this could have big implications if properly scaled up to commercial levels. Let's run the numbers based on our findings. Okay, so exactly how much did we earn mining for proverbial digital gold? Well, I'm in my Minergate account right now, and we can see how much of the Monero coin we've earned. So all I need to do is, is multiply this by the going rate for Monero, which Today is around 255. If I do that multiplication, I get this value here. That is how much we earned in USD in about five minutes of mining. So say we wanted to extrapolate out how much we would have earned in an hour, we can do times 12. So again, we're still not really getting to a considerable number. So that's one hour. And then if we do 24 hours, that's one day. And then if we do 30 days, that's one month. Given the rate that we were using, we would earn three cents in a month. 
and we would earn 40 cents in a year. So at that rate, it would only take us two and a half years to earn a dollar. So the reason this is so small is because the Raspberry Pi is not designed for this. We're using a CPU, our hash rate is incredibly low, uh, our power is low, so it's really not designed for this. But the point is, it's possible. And the point is, you could use a rig that was designed for this. You could use commercial GPU cards. So what got me thinking about this concept to begin with was Ross Stevens, CEO of Billion Dollar Hedge Fund, Stone Ridge Capital, based out of New York City, wrote at length about this key concept in his 2020 shareholder letter. If you're interested in cryptocurrency at all, you need to read this manifesto. And here's a quick excerpt of what he wrote. Bitcoin mining is the only profitable use of energy in human history that does not need to be located near human settlement to operate. The world has never had a profitable use of energy that's location independent. Now it does. I don't know, let's visualize uh, a waterfall, powerful waterfall in population free part of an African country that's destitute, people living in abject poverty. And we can easily connect that waterfall to the Bitcoin network. So historically, our challenge with energy has been to move the power to the people. Bitcoin will allow us to move the people to the power. Now, is Ross pumping Bitcoin? Yes. But that doesn't mean that he's wrong. So the point of this video is not to suggest that a hydropower generator and Raspberry Pi are a practical way to earn money, but rather it proves that the emergence of crypto mining technology combined with cheap and clean natural energy unlocks a new revenue source that if scaled up efficiently could bring more resources to rural third world communities. This was the concept Ross Stevens alluded to and we proved out if only at the micro level. So why is clean energy a core component of this concept? Well, the economics of crypto mining are traditionally that miners get paid for the amount of compute that they can provide to the blockchain, but they must then deduct the cost of electricity as well as the amortized cost of hardware. So as you can imagine, if you're sourcing the electricity from a clean energy source, you improve your bottom line and increase your profit margins not to mention the added benefits of protecting the environment. So let's run through one real life scaled up example together. So the Matunga River, which is located in rural Kenya, is currently being developed to create a hydroelectric energy power plant capable of producing 7.8 megawatts of energy. So if we run some math based on commercial grade GPU cards, this amount of energy and hash rates, we can determine roughly how much they would be able to earn in cryptocurrency. So a megawatt is a million watts, so 7.8 is 7,800,000 watts. A Tesla K80 has a maximum draw of 300. So we can take this value and then we can multiply it by the hash rate for a Tesla K80. So I'm going to go over to how profitable is mining with a Tesla K80. They're claiming that you could get at most $7 a month USD from a single Tesla K80. So we're going to multiply times seven. So this could potentially represent a revenue stream of $182,000 a month. And as you can imagine, this is USD, so the purchasing power is far greater in rural Kenya than it is in the United States. So it's not clear that this is the best use of that energy, but the point is cryptocurrency mining enables a new revenue method that has heretofore been unavailable. And somewhat interestingly here, Ross decided to include an image here that depicts a 2005 art installation that was called The Gates. And because I'm a sucker for reading way too deeply into things, I did a little bit of research to try to understand why he included that. And although the symbolism around this installation isn't quite clear, I would venture to guess that he's probably trying to emphasize the fact that you know New York, Wall Street, the larger US monetary system is passing through a gate into a new world, a digital monetary revolution. Now, I really don't wanna sound like a shill for the crypto space, 
but this is an important finding with profound implications. With the Earth's resources dwindling and the planet warming, it seems like there's no better time than now to discuss how clean energy might prove to be our saving grace. And I would like to know how you think the rise of crypto will revolutionize life as we know it. So be sure to hit those comments hard as I will be responding to each and every one. And until next time, stay green. Okay, so as promised, I'm going to be periodically giving away Raspberry Pis for as long as this video is up. If you want to enter into that random lottery, then all you have to do is leave a comment below. The keyword is Satoshi plus your favorite cryptocurrency ticker symbol. So for instance, if you like Bitcoin, just leave a comment saying Satoshi BTC. If you like Ripple, leave a comment saying Satoshi XRP. Once you leave a comment, you'll be entered into the random lottery. And if you win, I'll reach out to you to send you the latest Raspberry Pi device.